Hi and welcome back to Warframe. Today we're going to take a, another look at the Hind here. The only problem I had is I was looking for a burst weapon that is there to kind of compare it to and to be honest there isn't one. The Cybrus, it just completely annihilates it on the damage stats. The new weapon, the I forgot the name of it, the Tiberon. It was kind of close, but the puncture and impact just completely annihilated it again. The burst and prime completely annihilates it again. So the closest thing to it is the normal bursting, which it does do a little bit more puncture and a little bit more impact, but the hind does a lot more slash, so kind of evens out. It starts life with one V polarity. We did add three more just to be able to do this we've actually just finished adding the last one especially considering it's actually bought from the marketplace the blueprint for it and it did take six new roads to build this it doesn't actually do that bad once they uh, leveled up so the first three uh, v polarities for each build is basically the same we've got serration split chamber and heavy caliber because this thing's a burst fire weapon, it doesn't really matter. The heavy caliber kind of increases the the area that the shots actually hit, so it does come in pretty handy on here. This is obviously the corpus build, so we've got Bane of Corpus in here. We threw in freeze and electrical to create magnetic damage. Then we threw stabilizer on, which is weapon recoil, which it actually helped a hell of a lot with the accuracy on this weapon. And I for some reason against the corpus it, shooting at long range does help quite a bit so that actually came in handy and then we added shred for punch through and fire rate for the grenier build we obviously have being of grenier with three same three mods up here and then it's basically fire electricity ice and poison the electrical and fire basically make radiation damage then the freeze and poison damage make viral and them two combinations of these four mods work really really well against the grenier so it doesn't really matter if you have the stabilizer mod in here because this weapon it's not really meant to be a long range weapon for the infected here as well as being of infected and this normal three across the top we have thermite rounds which is fire damage and wildfire which is more fire damage that's 60% and that's 60% so instantly it's got a lot of that and we threw in malignant force to turn it into gas damage because the gas works pretty well against the infested and that give it 410 gas damage and we obviously have shred here for the uh, fire rate and punch through punch through actually worked really well against this faction because they tend to group up pretty close together and the ability to shoot through them actually worked really well especially with it being a burst fire weapon and obviously wildfire with the added magazine capacity took it from 65 up to 78 which really really does help especially against this faction would more likely call this a medium to short range weapon this would be so much better if the uh, grenier was standing in front of me but this is a grenier weapon you'll notice he has one in his hand I think it's the friend, no he's got a <gasps> Rakata. I, I was going to call it a Grinlock. <laughs> I wouldn't have gone down well. But this is a, a Grenier weapon. Oh, damn, it's a crap out of his head. And he missed. Because at range this thing, it's not the best on accuracy even with the stabilizer mod. The stabilizer just helps it against the the other factions like the Grenier and the Corbus against these guys it doesn't really matter the five burst actually comes in pretty handy for killing two things at once because once the first person dies it will shoot the guy that's behind them or it'll take out four people with one burst like that and at first I didn't really like the uh, burst fire weaponry but it is growing on me more and more I think it was the the, the burst and prime was probably the first powerful burst weapon. Then we had the Cyberus. I can't remember the name of that one either. 
I can see the name in my head, but I'll probably just end up pronouncing it wrong. I probably already did pronounce it wrong. <laughs> but this thing, it, it actually is a pretty decent weapon. Just because it has those two extra rounds, because it shoots five instead of the burst on three. And it's those extra two rounds that actually make this thing... It's stuff. <laughs> pretty strong. Because, especially against the infested, weirdly, I found that the infested, this thing worked on the best just because of them extra two rounds. If you're going up against any of the other factions, it's still a good weapon. It just seemed to work better against these guys. Oh god. So, we'll leave that off here for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you. I'm gonna kill this guy, right. Next time. Wow, that was a lot of experience.